Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and thank you all for being with me today. Right now we're going to play this awesome new game, it's called uh, Breast Cancer. So, um, oh sorry, my screen scrolled up. Now we're going to play this game called Breast Cancer, so um, uh, this uh, may contain a lot of uh, graphic, um, inappropriate graphics, so um, if you don't want to watch this then don't, don't watch it, okay? So um, let's continue playing this game and let's see what happens. Right, loading screen. Do your job. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, loading screen. I don't have all day. Oh my god, I tell you. My campus Wi Fi is. Just horrible. Oh, nailed it. All right, surgery squad. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual double mastectomy. Thank you. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be helping you with this Hi, procedure Dr. today. All right. A double mastectomy is a surgical procedure that is used to remove both of the breasts as a treatment for breast cancer. Oh. If you're not familiar with breast cancer, it's a disease that originates in the inner lining of the breast's milk ducts. With the exception of skin cancer, breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among women in the United States. Oh, wow. Scientists and researchers aren't completely sure what causes breast cancer, but they do know that there are certain risk factors that put people at a higher threat of developing the disease than others. These risk oh, factors amazing. include age, genetics, personal health history, and diet. Fortunately, oh, there are a number that. of treatment options available for those diagnosed Did you know with Asian, breast cancer. And Native American These women have the lowest surgery, odds of developing breast cancer. Wow. Hormonal treatments. That's and awesome, man. Medicine. That's really awesome. Our patient today was I'm diagnosed with Asian, cancerous so tumors in it. both of her breasts. Having tumors in both breasts is rare, but when it does happen, doctors stage each breast independently. This woman looks like a prostitute. According to the patient's records, she has stage one breast cancer in her hell? right breast and stage okay, two breast cancer in the left. Okay, she's diagnosed stage one on the right and stage After two on the left. After discussing her family history and health habits, My our patient God. and her doctor have determined that a double mastectomy is the best option for treatment. Okay. To begin, we need to get an intravenous line started. This will provide our patient with necessary fluids and medication throughout the surgery. A tourniquet has already been tied around her upper arm. Can you find a suitable vein in the patient's hand? Okay, we need work. to... Sterilize the injection area hand? using a sterile alcohol wipe. Why do we need to rub alcohol in the hand? I don't get it. Oh, I'm just going to do it anyway. Alright, let me paint you here. And let's just paint the fingers. Let's get some nail polish going on right there. And done. Insert the needle and advance the angiocatheter into the vein. Okay, oh, now we need to put the needle in. Okay. The small bursts of blood in the angiocatheter oh, hub my is what medical professionals refer to as a flashback. This lets us know that the angiocatheter is correctly positioned in the patient's vein. Now okay, great. I'll release the tourniquet. While placing a small amount of pressure over the vein to collapse it, remove the needle. This will reduce the amount of blood that may discharge out of the angiocatheter when the needle is removed. Okay, so we need to take that out. Now Great. that the needle has been removed, easy. I'll dispose of it in a shirts container. Lastly, we need to secure oh. the IV with tape and test the line. Oh, great. For those with a weak stomach or have children in the room, okay. I need to let you know that the next few steps get a bit graphic and contain nudity. This procedure may not be appropriate for work or school environments. Click the continue button when ready. All right, guys, next, that's all we'll my use a chemical God. antiseptic known as chlorhexidine to cleanse oh. the patient's skin. Okay, kids below use the 18, applicator to please apply do not watch this on okay, serious. Site. Okay, now we need to drag the applicator. Into Anastaka boobs. Oh wow, she became pink all of a sudden. Oh, okay. So let's do here, let's do there, and let's. Uh, you know what? Let's just kind of let's just uh, cover the entire body just to be safe. Uh, let me do here, here, that here, and then the stomach. Oh, I missed a spot. All right, great. Let's do the arms also at the same time. Oh, I can't do the arms. Okay, well, I'll just do the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, and there. Beautiful. 
We're off to a great start. Today, we'll be giving our patient a general anesthetic using a face mask. Once the patient begins breathing in the anesthetic gas, her bloodstream will carry the gas to her brain, preventing her body's nerves from communicating with it. This will allow her to be completely asleep and free of pain during the surgery. Place oh, the mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Once it's in position, right. I'll turn on the anesthetic gas. All right, let's put the mask over this woman. Oh. Put it there. Come on. Oh, okay. Oh, that was surprisingly quick. Now that our patient is unconscious, we'll insert an endotracheal tube into her mouth and down into the windpipe. This will help her breathe and provide a constant okay. mixture whoa, whoa, of oxygen whoa, whoa, whoa. and What's anesthetic going on? gases during surgery. Okay, now we need to put the tube in her mouth. This is not weird at all. Nope. Use the pen to oh sketch God. where we'll be making our incisions. I'm gonna have nightmares from watching this. Oh no, we're gonna have to cut it off. Or I'm gonna need to draw all the way here. Damn it, I missed it. Oh, here. Uh, go down here and up there. And you know what? Let's just have fun. Let's just draw a face. All right, one there, on eyes there. And uh, this actually can be the mouth. As you can see, the nipple looks like a tongue. So let's just make it like that. All right. <laughs> right. Now that's what I call a beautiful face. All right. That's one eye. Oh, damn it. The other eye and some lashes to make you beautiful. And let's give you a nose. There we go. All set. Damn it. It faded. Alright, so if it's gonna fade again, so I might as well just simply just draw this whole entire thing. Uh, la, la, la. Grab your scalpel Great. and make the incisions in the patient's right breast. This will give us oh, access no, this is to remove be bad. the tumor and breast this is tissue. Bad, this is bad. Oh no, we're gonna have to cut this open. Oh my god, oh no, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh. Oh Jesus, oh, okay, this is bad. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my lord, ah. Oh. Remove this the tumor and breast oh, tissue oh, using forceps. Oh, oh my god! Oh the my god! Oh my god! Will the oh, tumor god. And oh, tissue oh, from oh, the chest. Oh no! 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 Okay, my uh, uh, ew, ew, ow! Great. I'll send this to our pathology lab. Oh my god! Oh god! That is disgusting. Oh. In the meantime, oh, my god. we need oh, to insert do do what is known as a Jackson Pratt drain. This will prevent excess fluid from uh, building up okay, on the... Okay, insert it, insert it, insert it, insert it, go, 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 go. I don't want to look at this. Oh, uh... Right. Oh my god, I gotta sew it back. This is not good. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Come on, I'll just sew you. Uh, faster. I don't want to look at this. Fat clip. Uh. So she doesn't have any boobs after this? Or will it grow back? I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, let's do the last one and get the hell out of here. Well, this is a long one, of course. Come on. This is why I didn't want to become a doctor. This is just not right. That was flawless. Oh no. Now let's do the same thing to the left breast. Oh no. Oh god, okay, let's just get this over with. Oh, I just don't want to see this. Uh, right go, on. go, go faster, faster. Oh, okay, this is bad. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, go, open, open. Oh god, that's not. That's disgusting. Oh, that's go, go, coming go, go, go. along nicely. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh my Keep god. Alright, whoever in this, um, whoever has breast cancer, um, I'm so sorry you had to go through this. Um, it's just, I always thought that breast cancer was not that, you know, harmful, but then I realized that watching and playing this video is just disgusting. I mean, I'm so sorry for those who have breast cancer. Oh my god. Uh, thank god I didn't want to become a doctor. This is just not my type of doing this oh
my god. Faster! Hurry! Couldn't have done it better myself. Yes, of course. After a you double never mastectomy, anything, of course. most patients will need to stay in the hospital from one to seven days. Depending on oh, the wow. complexity of the surgery, complications, and if any breast reconstruction is performed. While oh in God. the hospital, patients are taught various exercises that will help avoid arm and shoulder stiffness. These same exercises may also prevent the development of significant scar tissue. It is highly oh. likely that physical therapy will be required as part of patient's recovery. Patients therapy? are also provided detailed guidelines the before leaving the hospital. They may include proper care of the surgical wound, post-surgical care while at home, by, uh, and the treatment of future scarring. In Remember, wow. a double mastectomy a is a major ago. surgical procedure, and recovering from one may be emotionally tough. Do you see the guy Advice behind that, that physicians guy or may girl? offer patients to help them recover emotionally may include Not the finding guy, sorry. someone that's had a double mastectomy for survivors. emotional support. You may find that this uh, person okay. is more helpful than any Great. book or video. Be optimistic. Researchers Be optimistic. have found that yeah, optimism I always tell can that not only improve the speed of recovery, but it could improve everyday health as well. Give therapy a chance. This includes participating therapy, in individual okay. and group sessions to discuss I don't know your how experience, that will help, but challenges, you should and give successes. It a shot. Do what you love. Don't keep let doing a what you love. Ah, this keep is good. You from doing keep the your things mind off things. I like surgery. it. Great. And that's a double mastectomy. If you found the surgery oh, educational, share it with a friend. Oh, this is not And if you're beautiful. into it, check out another procedure on oh, surgerysquad.com. Okay. Alright guys, thank you so much for your support. Leave a like, share, favorite, subscribe, comment also. It helps me to improve myself. Thank you all for your support and I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully I'll try out some other great surgeries and um, we'll get to learn more. Alright, see you. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah.